This video has been suggested from this comment. So remember to like and comment on my videos so that your song suggestion may become the next piano lesson. Also, only about 10% of you who watch my lessons are subscribed, so if you enjoyed or learned something from this video, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always undo it later. Anyway, let's get right into the lesson. Hello guys, this is Amos Style Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play Burn Butcher Burn from Witcher on the piano, okay? So it's really awesome, give you a preview of what you're going to learn. I'll be teaching you my favorite section which is the What Do You Yearn? The Burn Butcher Burn section, okay? So I'll give you a preview before we start, okay? So here we go. So, I'll be teaching you how to play this melody and block chords. Okay, that was like improvised with all the melody and block chords. That was just added in on a lot of like improvisations and decoration patterns. But I'll teach you the melody and block chords because I based it off completely off the melody and block chords. Okay, it's literally just like the melody on the right hand and left and block chords and it's improvisations. Anyway, let's jump right to it. So, I'll break up to a few parts that's easy to learn. So, right hand starts on the E flat, D, C, E flat down to G, G, E flat, E flat, E flat, C, E flat. That's it for the first part. All right, let's learn it once again. So it goes E flat, D, C, E flat, G, G, E flat, E flat, E flat, C, E flat. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have two chords here. The two chords are C minor, which is C, E flat, G, and second chord is F minor, F, A flat, C. So with these two chords in mind, so C minor and F minor, Two hands together goes like this, so Ryan starts. E flat and C minor together. Ryan continues. E flat and F minor together. That's it for the first part. Let's learn it once again. So it goes together. Together. Alright, moving on to the second part. Right hand continues down to the two Fs, three Gs, F G G G. G, D, G, D, G, D. All right, that's it for the second part. Let's learn it again. It goes F, F, G, 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 F, G, 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 D, G, D, G, D. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, two chords here, G sus4, which is G, C, D, and G major, which is G, B, D. So with these two chords in mind, G sus4 and G major, two hands together goes like this. So right hand starts on the first two F, G and G sus4 together. D and G major together. That's it for the second part. Let's learn it again. So it goes together. Together. All right. That's it. Back to back. The two parts we've learned so far we play like this. Moving on to the third part, right hand continues, goes E flat, D, B, C, D, E flat, E flat, C, E flat, C, E flat, F. Okay, this is an awesome part. Let's learn it again. It goes E flat, D, B, C, D, E flat, E flat, C, E flat, C, E flat, F. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have five chords here. The five chords are C minor, C, E flat, G. Second chord is first inversion of B flat major, which is D, F, B flat. Third chord is E flat major, which is E flat, G, B flat. The fourth chord is F minor, F, A flat, C. And then fifth chord is F minor six, which is F, A flat, C plus D at the top. That's it. The five chords one more time. C minor, first inversion, B flat major, E flat major, F minor, and F minor six. Two hands together goes like this. The so right hand starts. 
C and C minor together, D and chord together, E flat and E flat major together, grind continues, E flat and F minor together, F and F minor 6 together. That's it. There you go. Alright. So yeah, uh, let's move on now to the fourth part. Grind continues down to the lower F, octave below. So F, F, G, 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 four more Gs, one, two, three, four, G, and an octave above G, F, E flat, D. All right, that's it for the fourth part. Let's learn it again, because F, F, G, 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 octave above G, F, E flat, D. Okay, there you go. Left hand, which is two G major chords, which is G, B, D, two of them. All right, so with those two chords in mind, turn together goes like this, so together. Together. Like that. Let's learn it again. This goes together. Together. All right. Let's go ahead and put the four parts we've learned so far back to back so you know how to like piece it right now. See the fifth part, okay, pretty epic. Go C up to G, G, F, E flat, A flat, F, A flat, G, and then more than an octave down to low F, G, B, D, D, G, 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 G. That's it for the right hand, okay. And that's the burn, 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 burn part at the end. All right, let's learn it once again. So it goes C up to G. G, F, E flat, A flat, F, A flat, G, down to more than octave, down to F, G, B, D, D, G, 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 G. That's it for the right hand. All right. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have four chords to finish off here. The four chords are C minor, which is C, E flat, G. Second chord is uh, C minor, second inversion, C, F, A flat, and you can add an optional D at the top if you have big enough hands. Right, and then third chord G major, G B D, and fourth chord also G major. So with those four chords in mind, it's C minor, and then the second inversion F minor. With optional, you can do an extra D at the top. Okay, and then G major and G major. Two so hands together goes like this. The so right hand starts G and C minor together. 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 Yeah, that's it. It. Let's learn it again. It goes together, 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 together. Burn, 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 burn. Yeah, that's the burn part at the end. All right. So yeah, that's it. So back to back, all the parts of this lesson will be played like this. You can double up the chords here at the end. <clears throat> So once again, the melody, well, kind of talk properly. Once you get the melody and chords properly, you can start to add your own improvisations to make it more epic. So left hand, you do like octave bass, low octave bass, and then do arpeggios on the chord. You can do like rhythmic patterns as well, that kind of thing, arpeggios. 
and right hand you can harmonize on the chords based on the uh chords that you are like prescribed to and then yeah right hand you can kind of thicken up the texture and make it more epic like this okay check it out good job edges Yeah, play around with it. Make it epic. Make it fun. Okay, that was made up on the spot, and that's different to the pre intro preview as well, because that's how it is. Melody and block chords kind of like make your own improvisations and decoration patterns on what you feel at that moment of time. Okay, so yeah, awesome stuff. Hope you enjoyed learning this lesson. If you want to learn your favorite tunes on this channel, make sure to just search up the song name followed by Amos Store in the YouTube search to find those other lessons to learn for yourself. But as for now, that's pretty much it for today's lesson. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime and cartoon theme songs and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.